Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And we are here for episode five of Physical Media Lives, the show where I show you guys that physical media is alive and well through all of my incredible acquisitions of 4K and Blu-ray releases over the past few weeks. It's been three weeks since I did the last episode, so I've got quite a few items in the collection, pieces of physical media, 4Ks, Blu-rays, I've got Vestron, I've got Imprints, I've got tons of Vero stuff, I've got MVD stuff, I've got Eureka, I've got Warner Brothers, I've got Paramounts, I've got Blue Underground, I've got just all kinds of stuff, I've got Radiance Films, like I've got so much physical media, I've got it coming out of my ears, so physical media guys is alive and well, don't just go to your local Walmart or Target and think to yourself, the, the shelves are empty, physical media is dead, you can get this stuff online now guys, there's tons of places and opportunities to get physical media nowadays online. And speaking of that, all the stuff that I talk about that I was sent by the studios and the labels to review and showcase for you guys um, here today, I will be linking down below in the description. They'll all be Amazon links. So if any of these look good to you, if they look interesting to you, if you want to get them, use those links down below in the description. And as I go through this stuff as well, guys, I'm going to try to leave the dates and prices down there in the corner because some of this stuff has come out it hasn't come out yet like it's 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 all over the place so i i can't possibly remember like when everything's coming out i'm gonna try to put that down there um in the corner so yeah look before we get into it though hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already we talk about physical media on this channel every single day so if you like that kind of stuff hit the subscribe button also comment down below if you want to comment on anything comment as many times as you want guys i'm going to be leaving time codes in this video as well guys that's another very important thing so look down below the time codes like if, if some stuff looks interesting to you you want to see me unbox it talk about it hit those time codes you can go anywhere guys you can jump all over the video i don't care i, I do that for you guys so you don't have to sit through you know 45 minutes to 50 minutes of, of me rambling on about stuff you don't care about you can go right to the stuff that you do care about so check down below for the time codes check down below for the links to purchase this stuff and let's get into it i'm going to start with my first release that i picked up and that is Revenge Return of the Living Dead 3. Why was it saying Re Revenge of the Living Dead? Return of the Living Dead Part 3. So this was one of my last Vestron video releases that I needed to get in the collection. So I went ahead um, and picked this one up. I think I got it off of, uh, I think I found it on Grindhouse. I don't think it was on Diabolic anymore. And I actually think I had to pay like 30 bucks to get this. There, it, there was a time this was $15.99 with a slip on Diabolic, and I picked up a bunch of those last year, but for, for whatever reason, I can't talk guys already, for whatever reason, um, I didn't grab this one, I don't know if I just forgot about it or what happened, but this was like the only one I needed, I still need the Unholy, that's really the last one that I need, if anybody's out there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you guys my plea right now, I'm gonna plea right here in front of you guys, if anybody has the Unholy Vestron Video Collector Set, reach out to me and let me know if you don't want it, if you don't want it in your collection anymore, whether or not you send it to me in my P.O. box, I, I would certainly appreciate that. Um, or you just hit me up and maybe I purchase it from you. Um, I need it. I need the Unholy, that Blu-ray edition. So reach out to me if you have it. And you don't want it. And you don't want it. If you don't care about having it all in the collection. Because I want to be complete on Vestron Video. I'm, I'm not complete on hardly anything in the collection. I want to be complete on Vestron Video. Um, so yeah, I got Return of the Living Dead 3. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. This is one of my wife's favorite horror movies, actually. So we'll probably watch it together um, when we get to it. So, But yeah, still got the slipcover. I, I think I ordered it off of Grindhouse. So if you're wondering if you can get still get the slipcover, um, it's on Grindhouse. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. Either that or Orbit. But I think it was Grindhouse. I want to say it's Grindhouse. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, so I went ahead and splurged on some imprint titles because... Uh, this month was actually a great month for imprint or March was a great month. And there was a lot of stuff I was interested in and I don't pick up a lot of stuff from imprints because you know, they're, they're like 30, $35 for Blu-ray releases. They're pretty expensive. They're from Australia an Australian label, but, uh, I wanted to try them out. I wanted to get more into imprint and these titles seem pretty cool. So I did get cold steel. Uh, this has uh, Jonathan Banks and Sharon Stone in it. I'm pretty sure this is a first time the Blu-ray release. Uh, for this movie and a lot of these I have here I think it's the first time to blu-ray release but show you the back right there you know imprint's pretty cool I like the packaging they're all side loading slip cases so that's pretty cool and then you take it out of the slip case and you have the the blu-ray cover right here with Sharon Stone on it flip it on the back 
I don't know if this has special features or not. I think a lot of these are supposed to have new special features. It's not really showing that on the back though. But this seemed like a cool thriller with, uh, you know, Sharon Stone at the peak of her career. I feel like this is probably around the Basic Instinct era, I believe. No, this is 87, so this is this would have been before Basic Instinct. But she was definitely a top actress in the late 80s and, and early to mid 90s. So, yeah, Cold Steel. Went ahead and picked that up because um, it seemed cool. I like these, you know, revenge, not revenge thriller, but just like, you know, cool thriller movies from like the 80s. Um I'm definitely going to check that one out. I also got uh, Strange Invaders. And I think that this one did get a Blu-ray from somebody in the States, but I think it's out of print. It might have been Scream Factory. Uh, but this one seemed like a really cool movie. And this is from 1983. So I wanted to check this one out. Got to throw all my plastic on the ground. Strange Invaders had a really cool cover. And look at that image on the back. Freaking gnarly. And... Um, yeah, this one's got, uh, this one has special features on the back, so maybe Cold Steel didn't have any special features. I'm not exactly sure. It's got an audio commentary. It's got a video essay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got some new stuff, but I don't think that this was, um, this was not new to Blu-ray. This had been done before. Studio Canal's name's on the back of it too. But uh, let me take this out. Sometimes they're hard to get out of the cases though, I will say that. Love, that's the original poster art. Great artwork right there. Flip it on the back. Good stuff, guys. Show you that disc art right there. You got interior artwork. So yeah, Strange Invaders. If you guys have seen any of these movies, like I said, comment down below. Let me know how some of these are. You know, feel free to comment like 15 times if you want to. Like if you're watching the whole video and you just want to comment as we go, I'll, I'll take as many comments. I can't resp I can't promise I'll respond to all of them, but like I always appreciate the engagement. It certainly helps out the video and that, that YouTube algorithm loves it. So I would appreciate it, you know. Leave me on the comments. And just because I don't always respond doesn't mean I don't read. Because uh, I read a ton of your guys' comments. I'm always trying to take feedback from you all. For sure, good and bad. Good and bad. All right. Let me show you the next one I got. I got Ravagers. I think that's how you pronounce that. Ravagers. Yeah, this is uh, from uh, 1979. It's got Ernest Borgnine in it. Borgnine, sorry, Richard Harris. Um, and this seemed like a cool post-apocalyptic movie. And I think this was first time the Blu-ray as well. And, uh, it should have some special features. It's not showing it on the back, but I thought all these had like new special features. Um, but yeah, Ravengers. Let me get this out of the, out of the box. Imprint's a cool line though. I like, I, their slipcovers are nice. They're not like, you know, hard boxes or anything. They're paper, but they're, they're almost like a more durable slipcover, and they're kind of glossy feeling. So I like uh, I like their slipcovers. Show you the cover right there. Show you the back. Open this sucker up. You got some sweet disc art. And Imprint, I don't think, got started very long ago. I think, um, I think they got started like maybe three or four years ago. But they're already on like Spine 300. So... It, they they I, they do like six or seven releases a, a month, I think. And they've kept that pace up for a while. All right, so that's that stuff. I did get three items in the Arrow Video Easter Carnage sale. I got uh, Crimes of Passion right here with Kathleen Turner. And uh, I feel like I heard some good things. About, oh, this has got Anthony Perkins in it as well. So Kathleen Turner, Anthony Perkins. This is from 1984. It's a Ken Russell movie. And um, yeah, I, I heard some good things about it. Some people were recommending it. And I think it was $17.99 in the sale. So I went ahead and scooped this one up. Figured it would be a cool uh, release to add to the Arrow Video Collection. I also got uh, Cold War Creatures. I heard a lot of people talking this release up. Um, so I wanted to check this one out. This is four films from Sam Katzman. And I think it's all, you know, like creature movies, creature features. You got Creature with the Atom Brain. Uh, the Werewolf, Zombies of Moratau, and The Giant Claw. So, uh, to be honest, I don't know too much about these movies at all, but this is a cool box set right here. It's a dumbed-down version of, the, I think, the initial box set because it doesn't have the booklet in it. But uh, let me let me unbox this thing because it's a box set. Let me show it off to you guys. Let me show it off. Let me, let me help you get your money's worth with this episode of Physical Media Lives. All right. So we have the giant claw right there. Cool cover on that one. We have the zombie movie. 
So, yeah, I, this box set was highly recommended by several people, saying that these movies are actually really great. So, I'm looking forward to checking this out, for sure. But yeah, you have the, uh, the four individual cases inside of the side loading box set. Very cool stuff, guys. And I got it, guys. There's a lot of people that were complaining for, I think, a full year when I had the Giallo sets like right behind me. Ken, why do you not have the white and the blue box sets? Well, I got the white one. I did not get the blue because they sold out, so I couldn't get it this time. Hopefully, they'll put some more back in stock. But I did get the white Giallo box set. Now, I'm just missing the blue one. And uh, I think this was 35 bucks. I think Cold War Creatures was 35 bucks too. So this is probably the lowest that I have seen these. I think usually when they do a sale, it's like $40. So I think, I feel like 35 is lower than, than usual. So I went ahead and jumped on, uh, jumped on this one. Now, if I, if both of them would have been available, I would have got both. And then I wouldn't have gotten Cold War Creatures just to finish this line. Um, and I don't know if they're going to do any more of these box sets or not. I imagine they probably will. But um, cool box set. Ooh, look at that artwork. Freaking stunning right there. Let me show you off. Uh, and this is the original release because these are all still in regular. I've seen skinnier versions of these. But we got uh, The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. Sounds interesting. We got... Uh, what is this? The... like. The Laguana with the tongue fur? Is that what that says? I can't read. The Suspicious Death of a Miner. So yeah, let me know if any of these are uh, are decent. Which one I should watch first out of them? If I can only watch one of these first, which one should I get? Should I watch? I'll get to all of them eventually. But uh, the white box set. All right. Now, I, I, I'm going to show these off again, even though I did a video about these, and it was kind of a negative video, but these are these are cool steel books. I just I kind of complain about the price um, of these steel books, but these are all from Lionsgate. Uh, this is the red steel book right here. Some really cool artwork right there. You got Bruce, you know, you got the red team. This is the one that's worth it, though. I think this is worth the price tag of 35 because it's two movies in this set, and it's a really cool steel book. This is I'm not going to say it's my favorite. I think I like the one of them a little bit more, but the red one's a really cool steelbook for sure. We also got uh, Rambo Last Blood and Rambo First Blood. I have no idea why Last Blood. I think it's still $34.99 for the steelbook, and then First Blood's like $26.99 or something. But I love the Rambo movies. They're great, and these are really good steelbooks. But, um, yeah, the price just a little bit too high. They, they both need to be like 20 bucks, I think, at least. And why do you do... I just don't get why you do um, the first and the last. Like, do the first two or something. I, I don't know. You would think more people would be interested in the first two. I was hoping to watch this and be able to talk about it in this video before I did it, but the Cutthroat Island 4K Steelbook, um, haven't yet watched this. I don't know when I'll get around to this, guys. I'm just not really in the mood for a pirate movie. I don't know what it is. I'm just not. Um, so I haven't watched it yet. Cutthroat Island. This is a beautiful Steelbook, though. Uh, I still see this in my Walmart, so it's still available. Just check out your local Walmart. It might be in stock now. I'm seeing more Walmarts with the Steelbooks, guys, uh, making whole Steelbook sections. So that that is happening. And yeah, all of these Steelbooks came out on April the 2nd. So they should all still be available. I don't think that they're out of stock yet. So look in your local Walmart. Like I said, look online. See if you can pick those up if you want them. All right, let me bring over the other stack. All right, what's on top, guys? We have got a release from Warner Brothers. This one comes out um, next week. I think April the 23rd is the date that this one releases on. And that is The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Is that how you say it? Is that how Jason Statham talks? Probably not. But uh, The Beekeeper, uh, directed by David Ayer. I'm excited to check this one out. I did not get a chance to see this in the theaters. And I have heard some good things about it. So... You know, does Jason Statham fight bees? Is that what this movie is? Is he like take out a swarm of bees? Like that would be cool. I would be down to watch that to be honest. But the beekeeper, there's the cover. There's the back right there. You got all kinds of bees on it. Let me show that off for you guys. Oh, this is rated R. Uh, let me see what kind of specs this has. 105 minutes. Dolby Atmos. This does have Dolby Atmos. I'm trying to see if it has Dolby Vision. I imagine it probably does. I feel like Dolby Vision is kind of the standard um, at this point. But yeah, I just got this one in yesterday, so I haven't got a chance to watch it. 
I may do a standalone review for it if I watch it and I've got enough to talk about. Um, you just got a basic black disc on the inside. No Blu-ray. I mean, that's that's the standard now, guys. I mean, Paramount's doing it too. I feel like Disney's not doing it though. Disney and Universal and Sony. I don't. I feel like this is just a Warner Brothers and Paramount thing that they're just leaving out the um, the Blu-ray altogether now, which definitely sucks. It's a it's a cost cutting measure, but um, you know, to be honest, guys, the Beekeeper. I don't know how much this is now. I think it's. Um, I, I'm gonna leave the price down below, but I, I think it's thirty bucks. Like I would wait like three or four weeks. This thing's gonna go down like twenty bucks, and then pick it up then. Uh, but you get you get the digital code with it as well, so that's nice at least. Uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to watching that. All right, so the next two we have from Paramount, I have the Burn Book edition of Mean Girls, the original Mean Girls from 2004. I also got the remake Mean Girls, but I'll get to that here in a second. All right, this is a really cool slipcover though. Really cool slipcover. I I glad that they did a, a cool little gimmick for this this is the same cover that they did for their steel book a few years ago i did not pick up that steel book because i'll be honest guys i've got mean girls on blu-ray and i like mean girls don't get me wrong i do like the movie but it's not one of my favorites and i didn't feel like i needed a steel book for it so i didn't get it but what's cool about this is you got a nice little slipcover right here and there's a j card on it there's a j card like this is a premium like boutique release so that's pretty cool. Little J card on here. And uh, I'll show off the J card and show you all what's in this release. I don't think there's anything new in terms of special features. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. But this slipcover is awesome. Like a really, really awesome slipcover. The burn book. You flip it on the back. I don't like how they have the cuts. You know, I, I could have done with that. You know, make it make it whole. But I get it. They want to scan that barcode and they want to keep it wrapped up in the plastic. So, I mean, I, I get it. Well, actually, I mean, the J card's on the back. So, yeah, put, you put the barcode on the J. There's no reason for this. There's no reason for this at all. You got the barcode on the back of the J card. Why do you need it on the back of this? I guess for maybe when it starts coming without the slipcover, probably. Maybe that's the thing. I, I don't know. But I don't like that. I'm never a fan of that when it interferes with the artwork of the actual slipcover. You know, cutting a hole in it. I, I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that Paramount. Don't do that again, okay? Um, but otherwise, beautiful, beautiful slipcover. Let me show you the spine. I love it. I think it's cool. I haven't seen Paramount really do anything like this. Um, I don't feel like. And then we take it out and it's in a pink case, guys. It's in a pink case. Really cool. I, I feel like they did this for the Blu-ray for Mean Girls. I don't have it. I just got a Blu-ray case, but I feel like they did this as well. Um, and I have not given away this digital code. I gave away the digital code for the remake and also uh, the beekeeper, but uh, I didn't give away the digital code for this one. So let me do that right here, guys, as a thank you for watching my video. If you want Mean Girls on 4K, bam, bam, bam. And uh, this one just has the 4K, so that's a reason for me to keep my Blu-ray in my collection. Thanks, Paramount. Now I got to keep another edition. Um, but I've said this before, like. I know they make these little things, you know, the little the little tabs that you can put inside your cases and put your discs in there. And I want to start doing that to consolidate some of my releases. And then I'll have some extra Blu-ray cases or something. But yeah, really cool case, guys. I I love this. I think they killed this other than the fact that they cut a hole in the back. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Remember when they did that for Bubba Hotep, I think, and there was a whole big thing with that because it took away from the artwork and collectors complained and then they redid it. Um, I'm not saying that Paramount should redo these. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but like going forward, if you're going to print more, then don't, don't do that. Collectors don't like that. And it, that looks like a release you're doing for the collectors. So, all right. So we got the Mean Girls uh, 2024 remake. I'll be honest. I really had no desire to see this. I really didn't. Like I said, I like the original Mean Girls. I'm just not a massive Mean Girls fan. So I didn't need to see a musical remake. But I put in to get this from Paramount because my daughter wants to see this film. So, you know, it, it'll be a nice family film that we can all watch together. So even though I'm not looking forward to necessarily watching it, I'm always looking to watch movies with my family. Something we can all sit down and, and hopefully enjoy together. So Mean Girls, I went and got this. I'm sure it looks great on 4K. You know, I'll give my thoughts on it if I, you know, when I watch it. I don't think I'll do a standalone review, but maybe a short or something. But it uh, looks like it has a good amount of special features and 
and all that stuff. I mean, I, I like that girl. You know, I think she's playing the Lindsay Lohan character. She was really great in um, The Nice Guys, I, I think, is the movie that she was. I know she was in the Spider-Man movies, too, but she wasn't a big role in that. But she was really great in The Nice Guys, and it doesn't feel like she's really done anything that great since. Um, but happy to see her getting some more opportunities. And then we got, uh, without the slipcover right here, bam, open it up. You got a nice black disc. I mean, they could have at least made the disc pink. I mean, come on. You're doing pink cases, pink slipcovers. Like, make the disc pink, for crying out loud. But that's the Mean Girls uh, 2024 remake musical. I mean, I heard good things about it. I'm just, I'm not dying to watch it, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show this off, even though I reviewed it. But the Major League 4K Steelbook, I did a review for this recently on the channel, I think a couple of weeks ago. Go check it out if you haven't already. Um, but this is a really awesome steelbook. I love this steelbook. You got magnets all over it. You can put them wherever you want. I could take them all off. I just think it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Looks like a locker. Bam. Bam. Wa-ba! I think there's some stuff on the inside as well. I think I gave away the digital code here, but really cool steelbook. Paramount's definitely killing it. Um, they feel like of all the studios... Um, I mean, Sony too, to an extent, but I just kind of complained about Sony and their steelbooks, I think, yesterday on the channel. Um, but uh, Paramount seems like they, they got the whole collector's market thing. Like, that seems to be what they're focusing on for a lot of their releases, making cool, like, collectible items. Like, you start putting magnets on your steelbooks, it's like, you're trying to appeal to collectors. Like, you're not trying to appeal to the average uh, moviegoer that would want Major League on 4K. You know, that Footloose Steelbook was also fantastic. So I appreciate Paramount, what they're doing uh, with some of their releases. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, Major League, uh, really fun movie. Classic comedy from the 80s. There's a slipcover option as well for that. All right, let's get into the Arrow video stuff. I've got a fresh, fresh release. Oh, I forgot to say, guys. Well, I told you guys I was going to put the dates at the bottom, but the Mean Girls releases come out on April the 30th. So I actually have those in pretty early. But I think uh, this one comes out on April the 30th as well. That is Basket Case on 4K from Aero Video. I am very excited to check this one out. Frank Henenlotter movie. I haven't watched enough Frank Henenlotter films. Um, I watched Brain Damage not too long ago. Really enjoyed that. I need to watch Frankenhooker um, as well. But I, I've heard people say, because I love the movie Malignant. And everybody was commenting that Malignant was taking a lot of inspiration from Basket Case. So I'm curious to see where that inspiration comes from. But this is a this is a really nice, like, velvety feeling slipcover. It's actually really nice. I would have preferred a hard box. I would have preferred a hard box for Basket Case. But that's a really nice slip. You got a nice, like, glossy embossing right there with Basket Case. But, yeah, just a nice velvet feel. Feels really nice. Show you the spine right there. Show you the back. This probably has all the same special features that the Blu-ray has. I, I don't think that um, there's anything new here, but it looks like there's an awesome amount of special features, though. Looks like there's a crap ton on here. Uh, but this it does have Adobe Vision, HDR10, 4K restoration, uh, 4K restoration from the original 16 millimeter negative um, by Museum of Modern Art. So. 100% expect a review for this on the channel. Hopefully within the next week, I will be reviewing Basket Case on the channel. Cannot wait to, to watch this one. And yeah, nice 4K cover right there, the original poster. Showing you the back. Open it up. Just got the 4K, not the Blu-ray. That's okay. Let me do the reversible cover arts. Right there. So I think what I just showed you was the commissioned artwork that that Arrow Video did, and this is probably the original poster artwork for Basket Case. And then we got uh, a nice poster on the inside, fold out poster. Arrow Video spares no expense, guys. Again, I will be linking this down below if you're interested in pre-ordering it. All right. And then we got uh, we got a nice card right here. And we got a uh, nice little booklet. Look at that. I'm, I'm showing it to myself, guys, instead of you all. What am I doing? Nice little comic book on the inside. Cool stuff. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this one for sure. It looks really, really cool. Wasn't there a sequel to Basket Case? Wasn't there like a trilogy? How many Basket Case movies did they do? Let me know. Maybe they just did one. But I feel like they did like a trilogy or something. Am I making that up? All right, let's put it back in a nice velvety slipcover. I could just rub that on my face, guys. Just rub the nice slipcover on my face. That's weird. Things are getting weird on this episode of Physical Media Lives. I also have another really cool Arrow video release. I'm excited to watch this one as well. Sydney Lumet film, Night Falls on Manhattan. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is I haven't been in the past a very big fan of Andy Garcia, but I am waiting for him to win me over. Maybe he will with Night Falls. Maybe he will with Night Falls on Manhattan. But you also got Richard Dreyfuss in this film. So that's very cool. This artwork on the cover though is freaking fantastic. I think they're right below the, the Brooklyn Bridge. And I love it. That's awesome. Looks really cool. Really nice artwork. And yeah, this is a Blu-ray release, not a 4K or anything, but I'll zoom in if you guys wanna read the synopsis. Show you all the special features. And uh, I imagine there's some good special features on here. Archive com commentary by the director. Archive commentary, the director, Sidney, Sidney Lumet's an hour-long archive documentary from 2002. All right, is there anything new or is this all archive? Uh, On-set interviews with Lumet's, behind-the-scenes footage. This might all be archival interviews. And, and I mean, it's cool they're putting it on here, but I don't know if there's anything new here from what I'm looking at. But uh, still a cool release. And I think this is the first time the Blu-ray. I could be wrong, but show you that case. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching this one, guys. I think this is a solid month. I mean, we've been kind of down on Arrow this year, but uh, going off of these three titles I'm showing off, I've still got one to, one to go. Um, the month of April is actually pretty pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool month. Um, it's just you're not getting these like big premiere titles. You're just getting more under the radar picks from Arrow Video, but uh, some good stuff. Some good stuff. Nice little booklet in there. Um, little fold-out poster, double-sided. There's the original artwork. There's a the newly commissioned artwork. I, I love that artwork, though. I think that new artwork is freaking spectacular. Really awesome. All right, go ahead and flip this. What year is this from? I'm trying to see what year this is from. Uh, if I can find it. 1996. So this isn't like... I mean, it's almost 30 years old. I, it's so weird, guys. Like, when you think of the 90s, it's like, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago. It really does. I'm like, 1996, that's not that old. And I'm like, fuck, it's like 30 years old. Sorry for my language, guys. I apologize. Uh, Night Falls on Manhattan. So you got the original artwork right there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that one. I'll, I'll definitely try to get my thoughts on it, maybe in a short when I check it out. Uh, but this one I'm really looking forward to watching because this is a Western. I love my Westerns. This is the 10 star. And this has got Anthony Perkins in it. And I believe uh, uh, Henry Fonda, um, who was also in Once Upon a Time in the West. So I love my Henry Fonda in my Westerns. He's great. And I'm excited to watch Anthony Perkins for the first time in a Western movie. And this was directed by Anthony Mann. And this movie came out in 1957. So this is three years before Anthony Perkins did Psycho. So I am really looking forward to checking this one out. I think it's going to be super cool. I feel like I've heard some really good things about it. Um, I think I'm going to watch Basket Case first, but like the 10 star might be the one I jump in, jump into right after. I got so much stuff to watch, guys. It's not even funny. Like, it is not even funny. I'm going to try to get to it all. All right, the 10 star. Look at that, guys. Great stuff. Zoom in. See if you guys can see that's those uh, special features, specs, and all that stuff. You want to check that out. So let me look. A brand new appreciation of the film by author and critic uh, Neil Sinard. Sinyard. Sorry, guys. Beyond the score, brand new interview. So you got some new stuff on here, at least. Um, brand new audio commentary as well. So there's a good amount of, of uh, new special features here. This is a 1080p Blu-ray presentation. I'm not seeing if it says anything about a 4K scan. I was hoping since it was, it, since it was a Western, it was like a 4K scan at least, so it would have looked awesome. But, you know, it might just be a 2K. But I believe that uh, the shootist was just 2K, and it looked really good. So I'm confident that Arrow Video did a good job with this one. 
Yeah, well, I look. I'm digging the Western direction of Arrow Video. I'm not gonna lie. I want some more Western box sets from Arrow Video. All right, and this one. Oh my goodness, this thing stacked. I was wondering how heavy it was or why it was so heavy. We got art cards in here, guys. Sometimes they'll just randomly put art cards in there. But usually when they do art cards, they won't do the booklet. But in this one, they got art cards and they got the booklet. Bam, bam. And here's the booklet right here. That's really cool. It's almost like a, almost like a little comic. Is that what that is? That's what it seems like anyway. Like a little, uh, little booklet. It's pretty damn cool. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you would call this. Like, a, like a comic, like a little storybook or something. Like an old timey one. A timeless western, like for a dollar. I don't know. There's a name for it. And I don't know it off the top of my head, but that's cool. I like it. All right. So we got, oh, this is a smaller poster. They give you a little mini poster in here. They didn't do the full Arrow Video poster treatment, which I don't know if I like that. You know, Arrow Video, they usually do the full poster, but for this one, because they put art cards in here, they didn't. But I got to give it to Arrow. At least they don't charge you $70 for art cards like Screen Factory does. <laughs> they just put them in the release randomly. Sorry, I had to throw a little jab at Screen Factory. Um, I like Screen Factory, I do, but you get you get they're fun to make fun of. They are. All right, so we got this uh, MVD Rewind release of Joysticks. Um, so this is uh, Spine number fifty-eight. It was before Mean Guns. This one was supposed to be released in February. I've had it since February, but they asked us not to show it off until they replaced the disc. So I got my replacement disc in because I think there was like audio issues or something. Um, so they, they should have fixed this, and I think it comes out the first week of May. I think it comes out like May the 7th or something. But this looks pretty fun, um, you know, kind of based around an arcade in the 80s. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. I think it's some kind of a comedy. I don't know too much about it, guys. I'm sure some people's like, Ken, you don't know Joysticks is one of the greatest comedies of the 80s. Sorry, guys, I don't. I do love my video games, though, my, Western, my retro video games. I almost said Western video games. I just talk too much on these guys. I get so jumbled up and mixed up. You guys got to give me a little bit of slack with these type of videos. I'm literally talking about like 30 or 40 different movies. <laughs> so I get I get mixed up in my, my brain sometimes. Uh, but you got a cool little poster in here, double-sided. Pretty awesome. Reversible cover art. I like these little MVD rewinds, guys. I think that they do a good job. And they're pretty affordably priced as well. I believe this one's got new special features too. Yeah, you got a new fan commentary. Um, oh, you actually have uh, Heath from Serial Midnight that was, is on the commentary in this one. Very cool. And you got Diabolic DVDs Jesse Nelson on here. So that's awesome as well. Um, so yeah, you got a lot of people in the physical media, you know, collecting community that are actually a part of this release. So very awesome. Um, you got another audio commentary with director Gl Graydon Clark, interview with director Gl Graydon Clark. Um, so yeah, they do a good job of these releases though. They really do just kind of making them feel premium and they're still at a budget price. Like I think this is like 1999 still. Um, and they're just really fun. I like the way they're presented and they look all retro and cool. And yeah, I think MVD Rewind does a good job. So I dig it. I'm looking forward to watching Joy Sticks on Blu-ray very soon. All right. Uh, let me put this up here. All right. We got some Radiance Films releases. We have Misunderstood. I've heard this film is very misunderstood. Is that the case? Um, sorry, guys. That was a lame joke. Uh, this is a film by Luigi Comincini. Um, and this is uh, spy number 51 in the Radiance film line. So I don't know when I'll get to this one, guys. But, um, you know, I do like stacking up my Radiance releases. I've watched a few of them. I have. But I think one day I'm just going to have to binge through like 85 Radiance films releases. You know, when I when I build up 85, that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. In a day, watch 85 movies. That's what's going to happen because that's how time works, right? Um, all right, let me show you the cover. Bam. Look at that nice green disc. I love that. I like Radiance Films, though, and I'll, tell, I'll say this about Radiance Films. Every single time I've watched one, they've never done a 4K, but every single time I've watched one of their Blu-rays, they look spectacular, stunning. I think most of them are 4K scans, and they always look fantastic. Um, so it's not 4K, but it looks great, guys. Not everything has to be 4K. I'm not saying I wouldn't love you know, a lot of stuff on 4K that's not, but some stuff has really good Blu-rays. 
And you know, at the end of the day, it's physical media. We should celebrate it, right? All right. This has reversible cover art as well. And um, you know, always like these little cards they put in here. That's where they have all the information. But uh, when you flip these, you'll have the information on the actual back as well. And some different uh, different artwork. I'm trying to see if this is a, is this an Italian film? Yeah, this is an Italian film. I do like my Italian films. I just don't know too much about this at all. Like I can't even say anything about it. It looks like it's about some kind of boy and his mom. And that's that's the movie. That's that's the extent of my knowledge on misunderstood. I do know it's a misunderstood film, though. So there you go. Misunderstood. Um, we also got The Shape of Nights. This looks like a South Korean film. I hope I was right. No, this is a Japanese film. I'm sorry. The Shape of Nights. I don't know too much about The Shape of Night. This is a film by Noboru Nakamura. I'm sure I butchered that name. This is spine number 52. But yeah, Radiance does good work, guys. Like, if you're into these films, they definitely fall into a very specific, like, classic foreign film niche. But, like, if you're into that type of stuff, like, these are just great releases and they're great quality, both picture quality and packaging. You know, they're like Criterions. You know, then they got nice little booklets on the inside. Um, you know, I, I always say that Radiance is like the UK's Criterion. You know, even though that these releases are released in the States, you can get these in the States. Uh, show you this little card they put in the in the spine. Nice little artwork. Flip that. Got some of the uh, original poster artwork. Bam, bam, bam. I'm going to flip this back. And I'm going to put the card back in. Keep forgetting to put some of my stuff back in these releases. All right. The Shape of Nights. Is this one any good? Let me know in the comments section. All right. Uh, this is something that I haven't had in a very long time. This is too much sleep. I never get too much sleep. I always get too little. This is too much sleep. And um, I don't know too much about this one, but this appears to be a new label or a new line. This is called Whole Grain Pitchers. And when you look on the spine right there, it says, uh, oh my goodness, uh, it says spy, It says number one. So this is number one in a brand new line called Whole Grain Pitchers. That actor looks very familiar on the cover. Um, but this is a critically acclaimed comedy that the world slept on for 23 years. So, and then this says right here, a nightmare comedy on the order of Martin Scorsese's After Hours. Uh, David O. Russell spanking the monkey. Is this directed by David O. Russell? No, it's not saying that. Um, it's directed by David. I can't even pronounce that name. I'm sorry, guys. My quelling. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to, where are they getting David O. Russell's? But anyway, too much sleep. Just a standard Blu-ray release. This is from Whole Grain Pictures. Let me know if you've heard of this film. Like, they'll just send me stuff, MVD. You know, I just, I open up the packages they send me and I just take it for, for what it is. Uh, <laughs> so too, and you know, I, I might check some of this stuff out someday, guys. But I definitely need you to, to let you know it's available. Very basic release. I don't imagine this one's probably too expensive. There's nothing really too much to it, but too much sleep. All right. What do we got next? We have an 88 Films release. This is Beauty of Beauties. I think that's what this what this is called. So I don't know if this is some kind of like kung fu action extravaganza, but uh, seems pretty cool. 88 Films are, you know, I like the way the 88 Films package their stuff. It's a really thin slipcover. It's a black case. You know, it's it's definitely unique. It's different. Sometimes they'll do their, their box sets and their big package releases, but so go ahead and take this out. Bam. Yeah, I don't know too much about this movie, guys. I wish I could add some more to it, but you have a nice booklet on the inside, you know, flip through that. We have a disc right here. We have a disc. We have a disc. And then uh, just some interior artwork that's not reversible, I don't believe, but uh yeah, Beauty of Beauties. 
Uh, most ambitious films made in Taiwan film history in the 1960s. After leaving the Shaw Brothers studio in Hong Kong and moving to Taiwan, filmmaker Li Hang Hsiang embarked on this historical epic. Okay, so this is some kind of a Chinese historical epic. So yeah, I just I am not good with the Asian cinema. I, I need to get a little bit more well versed in that genre. All right, or you know, type of cinema, world cinema. All right, so guys, for the first time, for the first time ever, we have Eureka releases in the U.S. I have the first two Eureka releases released in the U.S. right here, right now. This is very exciting. We have The Cat and the Canary, classic horror film, and we have uh, Jet Li and Black Mask. So yeah, Eureka announced, I think back in January, that they were going to start releasing stuff in the States, kind of like Radiance Films does as a UK company and also, and, and also Aero Video as well. They're UK companies that also choose to release some of their stuff in the States to where we can pick it up without importing it. So both of these are available on Amazon right now. Um, and I think that's very cool. You know, they're branching out, they're broadening their horizons. And I want you guys to, um, you know, check these out, pick these up, support them if you can. Support Eureka in the U.S. because, you know, we'll get to continue to see these nice releases in the U.S. if we do that. So, but again, only if you're interested, guys. I would never tell you to pick something up that you don't want to pick up. But uh, this is a part of the Masters of Cinema line. This is number 284. So, yeah, I don't have much Eureka in the collection because it's overseas and I just don't pick up a lot of, you know, stuff. And... I got Valley Girl last year. I've got Cocoon. I think those are the only two Eureka releases I got. Sometimes they do do. They do do. I said do do. They do do very nice big box set package releases. And then sometimes they just do the regular slipcover versions. And these are pretty much packaged like Aero Video releases. Like straight up. Like these are Aero Video releases as far as the packaging. So we have the Cat and the Canary right here. Very cool artwork. Yeah, this is a movie. I think this is probably a silent film. Uh, from 1927. I think they remade this in the 40s, but this is the original one from 1927. So I'm very curious to check this one out because I do need to watch more classic horror for sure. But yeah, very cool release. Kind of, let me zoom in a little bit more on those special features. I don't know how many new special features they got with this one, but let's take it out of the case, show you the front, show you the back. And, uh,. Got some, some disc art stuff there. We got a booklet on the inside. Ooh, look at that, guys. Oh my goodness, what, what was that face? Look at that. Ah! She is scared of them cats and them canaries. Oh my goodness, what, look at that woman. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta check this one out. I love that artwork though. That's some great artwork. It's got reversible cover art. Bam, bam. Um, but yeah, great artwork on that one. The Cat and the Canary. Check that one out. This one comes out, I think, the last week of April. I'll be putting the dates down there below, guys. But I think it's April the 30th that that comes out. Let me take a drink real quick. I'm a little parched. I'm already over 40 minutes here. All right. So next up, we have Black Mask with Jet Li. Also a Eureka title. First time released in the U.S. Um, I don't know who this is directed by. But uh, I do like me some Jet Li. For sure. Take it out of the slipcover. Bam. Bam. Great villain in uh, Lethal Weapon. Let me show you the special features right there. Ooh, can you guys see that? Uh, I'm getting wild, guys. Oh, this is a two-disc set. Wow. This looks pretty cool. This looks like some kind of virtual reality movie. Is that what this is? Like he's got some kind of... Um, looks like virtual reality. But we got two discs here on disc one. You have the Hong Kong theatrical version, international export version. And then on disc two, you have the Taiwan version and the extended version. Do we have... Looks like we have four cuts of the movie here. You got four cuts of Black Mask. Which one do I watch, guys? Because <laughs> I can't watch all four. I ain't got time for that. 
Um, but no reversible cover art, but you do have interior artwork on this one. But yeah, looking forward to watching this one for sure. Oh my gosh, I, I keep forgetting to put the booklet back in. There we go. Black Mask. All right, next up, guys, we have another Tinto Brass movie. Uh, is that how you say his name? So I, I did an unboxing for his last film, All Ladies Do It. And I don't know why MBD keep sending me this stuff, but they do. These are naughty movies and I don't need these in my collection. I really don't. Um, but I'm going to show it off because it was sent to me anyway. This is a 4k guys. This is a 4k dirty movie. This is frivolous Lola. And maybe they're not as dirty as I think, but I'm looking at the back and it's like, it probably is as dirty as I think <laughs> frivolous Lola, a film by Tinto brass, same director as all ladies do it. So I wonder how many of these 4ks they're going to do. Um, and this is a part of the cult epics line i mean th this is a really nice slip cover though i like the green on the spine for sure but let's let's take this out of the plastic i don't know how much of this i'm gonna get be able to show off I'm, i'll be honest i don't even know if i can show off the back i think the back's okay maybe but uh that last one i opened up the booklet on the inside and i'm like my god like i can't show this off nice glossy slip cover though look at that my goodness I saved the naughty stuff for the end, guys. That's a, that's how I did it. Um, take it out of the slipcover. There you go, right there on the cover. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Flip it. Open it up. You got art cards in here. You got disc arts. I think you got a 4K and you got a Blu-ray. Um, we got a card of her flashing somebody. So there you go. Let me screen these cards first. Yeah, I'm not going to show those other two. Um, and this book, guys. Yeah, I don't know if I could show this off. This one's got some posters. I can show off a little bit of it. I don't know what these movies are. I, I think they're all like centered around females that are like discovering their sexuality or something. I think it's always involving them leaving their husbands or their boyfriends to go like have sex with a bunch of other dudes. I, th I think that's what these movies are. That's the core plot here. So it's uh, all about uh, female empowerments, I guess. Is that the thing? Which is cool. I'm not saying it's not cool, but uh, you know, I just I don't I don't need those kind of movies in my life. I'll just say that. Maybe a giveaway at some point, a porn giveaway on the channel. Um, and then the last one I got is Goodbye Uncle Tom. Now this one from the cover looks a little pornish. Um, but I was reading the synopsis of this one and this is a 4k release from blue underground. This thing is chunky. This is chunky as hell. Um, this is kind of like that, um, a little bit chunkier than the final countdown set. I think that was a pretty chunky one too. This is a four film, um, or four disc box set, but, uh, yeah, I don't know too much about this one. I think it's a time traveling movie though. Um, about people that go back into back in time to the slave trades. Um, let's see. But yeah, 1971, distributors forced the filmmakers to completely recut the film. So this is a pretty controversial movie. Uh, but this has got Dolby Vision, HDR. Every scene looks looks you straight in the eye and spits. So I don't know what to expect with this one, guys. But this, is th this thing is loaded. Four discs. You got multiple cuts. English version, Italian version. The importance of shocking... Uh, I can't even pronounce it. A feature-length documentary by the director... Dude, you got you got freaking two documentaries here. You got interviews. This thing is loaded. You got the soundtrack as well. Let me take the plastic off of this, guys. Let me quit messing around. I mean, an incredible looking release. I mean, this is a Blue Underground release, so it's probably gonna cost like seventy bucks. I think it. I think it's like. I think it's like forty four maybe, which isn't bad. I mean, this this release is like stacked. You know, this is a movie that you want in the collection. All right. I'll zoom in and show you guys what, what all's in it right there. And then we got the, the regular case. Nice thick case. Almost like a Blu-ray box set case. Honestly. And then you got the four discs on the inside. I like the way they're stacked in there though. You got the Blu-ray. You got the CD. That's the Blu-ray with the extras. You got the CD. Then you got the 4K. And then you got the Blu-ray. So... Or no, you got, uh, I think, the Italian cut and the English cut on uh, 4K. 
I don't know if they have just the movie itself on, on Blu-ray. I imagine they probably do. Maybe on that extras one, they got it. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but there is a reversible cover art as well. I think this is the original poster. But yeah, this is an Italian film, so I'm sure it's pretty wild. I am sure it's pretty wild. I mean, the Italian's take on slavery sounds uh, sounds weird. I should have looked at this booklet first, but <laughs> I like how it's orange on the inside, though. That's cool. All right, guys, that's goodbye, Uncle Tom. Um, I think that one comes out fairly soon, either next week or, or the week after. But uh, there you go. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. That's everything, guys. That is everything I needed to show off. For this episode of Physical Media Lives, we came in under an hour. Heck yes, we came in under an hour. I appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and reviews. And also, I'm going to try to watch and, and talk about as many of those releases as I can, but it's a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, but click those bell notifications. Follow me on all my social media accounts. I'm on TikTok. I'm on X. I'm on Letterboxd. I'm on uh, Instagram. All the places. Follow me down below in the description. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.